This is cool. So they use magic to create like their Pokemon. It was a Pokemon stage and it's changing the environment. They like we use all our elf magic to like we're gonna have a fireplace. We're gonna have this place. Yeah, they, they, it's pretty nice. <laughs> Very video game. It's like yeah, we just transform the whole city, <laughs> the Colosseum, to like ten different environments. And there's like crown in the middle and everything. The like, tournament arc, baby. You got a bunch of elf waifus to like uh, <laughs> throw some elements. Yeah, we got volcanoes. We got, yeah, we got swamps. We also got some arid Grand Canyon. And we got tread people. And also monsters, yeah. But like, I've been crazy all that in like five minutes. But that's why, you know, this is why I love it when the author is like, well, we have a magical world, so of course we can use our spells to create all this, yeah. It used to be like a normal forest, but now it's like I got a... And after the tournament, I guess, to just revert it back to like normal, you know, planes or whatever. But now it's like, no, 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 we built this gigantic, uh, dangerous environment, yeah. And, and the tournament guys are like, yeah. That's right, it's Quidditch, but it's better! <laughs> because we got goddamn dragons! <laughs> Come on, everyone knows this. It's Quidditch, guys. But uh, she's flying on a dragon instead. This is like, uh, why would you have this stupid... And honestly, I like it a lot. Right? But obviously, it's very inspired by Harry Potter, let's be honest here. But, compared to example to, you know, Magic and Musk or whatever, right? That animation is a parody. He did actually or playing the Quidditch thing. He just thinks it's strange that he is like, well, it's kind of similar to Quidditch, but they have dragons. <laughs> yeah, which is way cooler than flying on brooms. I mean, one thing, I actually think yes, I've never been a Harry Potter fan, okay? I don't hate Harry Potter, but um, I always find it kind of lame, honestly. He's flying on the brooms, you know? Yeah. Except by looking at Little Witch Academia, when, uh, you know, one of them is flying like a mecha broom or <laughs> something. Yeah, that, that, that was, I think, was cute, yeah. One has, like, a fiery, angry broom, you know, the Aku got, like, angry broom and someone that's, like, a sword broom or something, yeah. <laughs> like, something like that, you know. It all, it all felt a little bit lame, honestly, just flying on some stupid, like, yeah. No, I like them, they, they can fly and all the stuff by themselves, whatever. But they just fly with their own magic, you know what I mean? But, so this was like a massive improvement here. They're like, oh, they got dragons instead. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, this I like. But anyway, guys, so we story on the episode. This is what today is Tournament Arc, baby. Tournament Arc. Tournament Arc. And it looks fantastic. And I can't wait for the later episodes. We probably had more like fighting and so on. But basically, this here already looks really great, right? And the budget will probably increase every episode during like a Tournament Arc. Like in most animes. So I'm really excited for the coming episode and the final bit of Tournament Dogs. Probably going to be amazing. Then we have to subscribe for the episode episode one, and let's check the episode out. Here we go. Some more Historia. Some dragons. Oh, it's a fly. Oh my god, yeah, of course. Oh, it's the Quidditch. <laughs> it has to be Harry Potter style. I'm sorry, but they have dragons then, yeah. It's dragon squiddies. Oh, I'll show you guys. I mean, it is very Harry Potter as well, they have to have some kind of Quidditch. But it is better than Harry Potter, they have dragons! <laughs> yeah, it's dragon Quidditch. It's way better! Now, of course they have to copy that, yeah, of course. It's the same in like, um, what's going on again? Muscular Madness or, yeah, it matches or Because you're betting and... Uh, oh, so everyone's like, this is what uh, it really matters. Oh, she here. Yeah? A new... New to just credit. She's the best student. She's the best dragon rider. There we go. Let's show me off the dragon riding. <laughs> Maybe we is a good. No, she. <laughs> the Sky Empress. No, I like that. They have to have this thing. Every anime, we have to have this thing. We have to have them have dragon sky. Yes, yeah, cool. but the dragons. We have to have this thing. Oh, of course. That's her disguise. I thought it was her. Exactly. I thought it was her. It's her disguise. Yeah, and she said, she said the voice even, like it, like it, yeah, she said the voice. She was like, yeah, okay. Because <laughs> it's his memory of the events. I don't think that was she meant, but <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh, this guy here for <laughs> Ara, Ara, I thought that you liked me. Yeah, this guy is too stupid, man. Yeah, she's like, no, this is my boyfriend, though. Yeah, come on. Come on, she's going to see him. Oh, 
But yes, Will could be a good dragon rider, right? Because it's a physical skill, yeah. And also everyone loves him. <laughs> I'm sure all the dragon loves him. He's a typical main character. He's like, oh my god. So, yeah, they're gonna like love the guy. He goes, Ice Bro. Yeah, our new enemy. There he is. Man, the guy's evil. <laughs> Immediately. It's like, <laughs> Man, the guy's evil. He's so evil. He's like, yes. Comes in and smiling at us. Immediately. Oh, that guy is evil, man. That guy is pure evil. Yeah, that guy is goddamn evil. Um. <laughs> uh, Fireboy man, he's just out of the league now. Yeah, he's like, oh yeah, man. He goes off the finally. Yeah, let's do that. It's gonna be a terrible definitely, but I was more to drag already. <laughs> At least he got the glasses for that. Yeah, he always has his glasses with him. Yeah, because his, his girlfriend gave him. That's like perfect for dragon riding. Come on. But I feel called it, man. That was going to be her. Yeah, the hiding her hair there. So the principal, of course, knows that she's working for the government. What do we call it? Like she's working for a spy or whatever. So, yeah. No, no. I wanted to use more than one medic. Yeah, they do open now. Last week we had that. Oh, this guy is our ice. This is. They have one medic each, right? Yeah, they have like one pro spell each. But I wonder if someone. Someone has to be late to coming, like, oh, I can actually use five medic, yeah. So it has to be like a narrator. Oh, actually, I have a heart of every element in my heart. <laughs> yeah. I have mastered all the elements. Yeah, like, someone has to be that, right? Definitely. No. Do, 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 do. For the time. Let's tournament arc. Tournament arc! Tournament arc! This guy is like, we have to have every anime. Yeah, guy talks about tournament arc. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we got Snape. He's there. He's all angry. He hates everything. Yeah. Mm hmm. We're gonna have the pretty. Obviously, the teachers would be the judges or whatever. Yeah, of course. That's all. But, yeah. <laughs> he's like, shut up! <laughs> I'm just doing good commentary here. Yeah, he's like, no, no. The fri the fri the friendliest commentator dudes. Oh, that's CDI 3 of you, definitely. <laughs> yeah, that's just, that was super CDI. Okay, so they have elf girls. What are they doing? They're creating some kind of environment, like a web or something? Maybe they're summoning like, a storm. It's not like they're creating some weather thing. I guess they're like, you know, creating like rain or something or whatever. Or whatever they want to do. Oh, it's gonna be a, you know, a storm here, a fighting storm. I think. Not an elf lady. A lot of elves do this thing. Yeah, suddenly there's a lot of elves in this anime. Okay. So yeah, I told you, it's like an environment thing, right? Yeah. But this is nice though. This is cool. So they use magic to create like their Pokemon. If it's a Pokemon stage, yeah, it's changing the environment. They're like, we use all our elf magic to so, like, we're gonna have a fireplace. But so like, yep, yep. And after the tournament, I guess they use reverted back to like normal, you know, planes or whatever. But now it's like, no, 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 we built this gigantic, uh, dangerous environment. Yeah, and then the tournament guys are like, yes. <laughs> Commentators are, they have to fight outside there. But why would you be in the Coliseum though? I don't know, I had watched it on the TV though. Most things would be outside the Coliseum though, yeah. This is the beginning. Uh, whatever. It's nice, it's beautiful. They're a top tank guys. Oh yeah, you can bet on them. Well, you can bet them! <laughs> I like how he's like, oh, you can bet on them. <laughs> One of the teachers is like, yeah, you can bet on the students. Like, no, you can't. That, that's not illegal. Yes, you can. <laughs> yes, of course you can. <laughs> Here's the betting numbers. It's like, no, don't support that. It's like, no, man. 
This is how you make the money, man. Yeah, it's like no, we don't, we don't, <laughs> don't, don't uh, advocate for that, man. I was like, oh. oh. Because we'll now fight these katanas. Be easy, I can fight. I need to defeat Ice Bro, though. Yeah, he need to defeat Ice Guy. It's like, yeah, for the dwarfs. For my dwarf friends. Exactly, I got my dwarf bros. They need me to do this. <laughs> and he's a nice girl. He's like, oh, it's the same thing, same thing. <laughs> that is cute. She has like, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry about this. Yeah. Look at him. He already has his glass thing on him. He's ready for the dragon tournament. Yeah. There we go. This is the beginning of the tournament arc. It's like mines or something. Yeah, yeah, they're gonna be explosive, right? Yeah, obvious. Oh, they turn into golems. Oh, okay, they are like. Yeah, it's kind of mecha. Look like mecha, seriously. They look almost more like mechas than normal golems, I have to say, but yeah. But we've seen them, we've seen them in the past use like these golems to fight the students, so. It's kind of like their base, basic thing to go to. Now, here we go. Now, the animations are less adapted, the animations are improved a lot, too. But it's probably like a. Uh, uh, Cliff, uh, sorry, um, I can't sooner because of that commercial break, probably. That was nice how you can run past the guy and talk to him. That was nice. Yeah, she got her earth magic, of course. Yeah, that also that's very, very well animated. You can see her face, see her mouth, and so on. Like, it's, it's always animated so good on this minor stuff. Oh, should I give him like, some, like an earth glove or something so you can punch them? Oh, so he can't use his sword at all. So she has, she has, she has to like, buy, she has to like give him equipment basically. I guess she has to give him like items to fight with. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> of course that guy was like, dropped his tea on his face or something, yeah, of course. He was so shocked by the badassery that he dropped his uh, food there. Yeah. But yeah, it's like a weird rule, so he can't use his... We had rules. She has to like. She's like, "That's no problem." <laughs> yeah, he got me. <laughs> That's like no problem though. But this is weird. She has to like give him like equipment to fight with. He can't just use his sword. Like a stupid rules also. Yeah, like we can't just. Yeah. There we go. I catch her. She's adorable. I catch her. Here we go, tournament dog. Oh, the sun comes out here. Yeah, she's crashed. The sun's too bright out. <laughs> Perfect time, tournament dog. Yeah, suddenly it's way sunny in here. Ah, oh, weird. Must be the apex now, son. Yeah, strange. Mm -hmm. Just him being all sulky. Yeah, he's like, damn it, this guy's so powerful. Stupid sword, dude. I also want to be powerful. Yeah, it's just, it's just fireball. He's just dreaming of the strength and having a girlfriend and so on. So he seems to have interest in his girl. Yeah, he seems to have liked her. He, like, he likes Hermione. But it does feel he's at the first, you know, the fit means friendship, right? He's gonna be all like, you know, he's frustrated over losing and he's gonna like level up and maybe mature a bit and yeah, maybe. But he's mostly like, screw this. <laughs> He's mostly angry over it. I don't know, but I think it might like change his behavior and improve. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, wrong button. Hmm. And that's like Earth Mary. Okay, so now the okay, so these like boxes have different basically magic inside of them. I guess now they like buffed up with like Earth magic too. Shoot, I guess like bricks something, yeah. It's like projectiles. But yeah, we just smacks the ground. But she's a very good supportive girl, yeah. She's like, oh, I can. I guess staircase maybe something. A sword? 
Man, this is- I also want- where's my girlfriend if you throw swords? I also need a girlfriend that is like, I can summon swords for you, yeah. <laughs> you can throw at me. This is the kind of girlfriend I need, man. It's summon me 20 swords, okay, yeah, okay. But like no one thought about this. He's like, oh, this guy got 10,000 strength points? Yeah. He's like, no one ever thought about what happened if some guys levels up their strength stat, not just the magic stat. It's like, they're like, what? You can actually throw stuff at enemies? Like, what? Is that a thing? Oh, there's that big? Now we saw him cutting it. It was way bigger than I... I thought the boy, yeah, the, the cube thing was like much bigger than I thought it was. Then he, when he went up to it and cut it in like close combat, I thought it was, yeah, it surprised me actually how big it was comparably. So not all, yeah, he's still sucking over it. Yeah, it's like, oh, come on, what about me? <gasps> Is that a boy girlfriend? I don't know. Still confused by the, still confused by the roommate. The only thing I know the room is thirsty, man. <laughs> the only thing we need to know is the room wants it. The only thing we need to know is that the room really is thirsty for it. That's the only thing we need to know, man. I, I don't know. It doesn't matter what they're... Yeah, she has to pretend to be like, Yeah, I like who is that <laughs> She has to pretend to be like, it's like this whole person else is playing, right? Yeah. Who is that by? Yeah, she has to pretend to be that girl. Well, that was cute. I mean, you know she's faking it. So yeah, she's like, I have to... I have to... Oh, it's a monster of some sort. Oh, it's a plant, I see, yeah, okay. Okay, okay. That's another rig in here, of course. Yeah, but this is tournament art, baby. But now I put it the environment, though. Yeah, now it's like jumping over fire boss. And... Oh, here comes the bad boy. What will he do? He walks after and frees everything. He do like Q-san did in the last episode of One Piece. Yeah, he's like, yeah. He bought a shot. He's like, I just froze the plants. Exactly. He's just like, he just walks part of there. He's like, the plants are nothing to me. Yeah. He's just like, whatever. Yeah. He's just like, Phew. exactly. He just makes everything freeze. <laughs> he looks so evil, obviously. <laughs> he looks so evil. Yeah. He's like, yes. He really has an evil face, but it's Christ. So now they're in like a swamp. I was in here then. This is a kind of dark black white swamp now. Turn the door to the stream and the environment is not happening. You slashed everything? Come on, Willie. I, I want. What's, ha I want what's happening? It's just like purple beads of them. It's a kind of weird dark manic swamp thing. Yeah, this is very confusing. It looks pretty cool though, and it's like different. Oh, yeah, the was great, man. I can't wait for the final turn when they're gonna fight everyone. Yeah, now it's like the episode. It's like. You know, this is a tournament arc, the first part, right? But can't wait for him to like do a lot of guys. So they have the classic like, you know, putting a fight ice boy, of course, in a fight, right? <laughs> Stop being so unimpressed by everything. <laughs> I was like, no, I like that. I was like, no, it's... yeah. But this is like, oh, they're gonna meet up with the other. No, he's dying out. But it's like a very dangerous tournament arc, though. Yeah, if it's like most people just die. Oh, here we go. They're finally gonna meet up with Ice Boy. Yes, the one he wants to fight. Exactly, where's my ice boy? That bastard hurt my dwarfs. Oh, here we go. Oh, he got shot! Here we go, he's meeting up with the ice guy. Wait, can they fight? I don't know the rules here, can they kill each other? What are actually the rules here? But he immediately, of course, he's like really pissed off. He's just like, that's right, man. I will kill you and the dwarfs. Yeah, he's like, dear man. He's ready to kill the dwarfs and will. Like, he's a Christ man. He sniped him immediately. But honestly, I don't understand the rules here. Can he kill him? Is that allowed? Is he okay to just like one shot the, the other guy? Like, yeah, is that allowed? He's very evil, of course, Julius. Very, very evil. Yeah, the fight on immediately here. Oh, it's a kind of ice rain. An ambush, though. He's ready to fight him. Yeah, he's ready to kill him. This is just. Of course, I got a hailstorm. Okay. Yeah. But see, we has the fire boy with him. He's all sulking. So uh, you would think it's like Pokemon, and the fire magic guy would actually be able to defeat de 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 him. Yeah. So yeah, you, you say you said, I said, man, is fire boy gonna be like, no, he's my friend now. Yeah, he's like, no, I'm part of the team too now. 
Is he gonna come in and be like, no! You shut up, Ice Looster! I'm here too! Yeah, there we go. There we go. It's like Pokemon, told you guys! He's like, I'm also always friend now or something. Yeah, told you guys. He's gonna come in and be like, no! I'm actually friends with these losers now, okay? Um, this is my team. I call it, man. I call it. I knew he was gonna come in there and be like, stupid Ice Looster! I'm also here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, he called it, man. Called it. Yeah, I know. He's like, you're gonna burn. Yeah, she. Or he's just also trying to kill him. <laughs> or he's also trying to kill him. What is betrayed him? Is that? What's he aiming at? <laughs> what he's aiming at him for? You should try to kill the ice guy. He's saving your team. A traitor, man. Jesus Christ. I thought he was gonna at least be like, yeah, I got this, bro. I was like, no, no. He, Furry was like, stupid ice guy, <laughs> this is my prey, but that is point, and Mono, what is this guy doing, man? They burned down the force around them. Huh. They let me away. Now it's like, it's my fight, <laughs> this is really confusing. Now he's like, it's my fight. Yeah, Nani yo! <laughs> exactly. Nani yo! He's like, yes, I will kill him instead. Now they're both trying to kill him. What? God damn it, Ice Fireball, man. You're supposed, to, you're supposed to fight the Ice Dude. Look, he's like, you're supposed to give you the Pokemon abilities. Oh, God damn it, man. Will is like, you're a traitor, man. Let's save your life. Yeah, it's like, come on, man. Talk to your friends. This episode will fire nice, but yeah, between fire and ice, Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's like, oh, I will kill you as well. <laughs> she, her mind is just like, what well, God is happening? Yeah, she's standing there like, what are you guys doing, stupid? Yeah, like, a nice guy's also like, oh, I will kill him. It's like, no, no. He's also just, he's just a, you know, crazy racist guy. Yeah, he's like, oh, I will kill everyone. So now he's like surrounded by fire and ice. Uh, this is between rock and, uh, yeah, between fire and ice place. Well, he got like one fake sword at least. I was hoping that the fire guy was gonna mature. He said he, he said he snaps. Yeah, he he snaps. He said, yeah, he turns to mentally insane. He said he's tense now, man. But he kind of surrounded only with the fire guy now, though. Yeah, he's only with the fire guy down there. He kind of the ice guy's stuck on the other side, though. When it comes to ending, God, what a great episode, man. That anime is really good, man. Yeah, it's one of the best anime. I keep saying it right. But it's slept on definitely. Um. I mean, it is, of course, Damasha Arthur, and I did actually this very brief look at the Damasha trailer yesterday. Um, did I make a video about it, because it was released, like, really late here. Really early. Or oh, whatever. But it was releasing at a really bad time, um, where I live at least. So I did make a video about it. But, uh, so, I, I, it's not fair to say it's come out of completely nowhere, but I still feel the anime is really, yeah, it's, like, really surprisingly good. I keep saying it, but, because, like, it's, no one talks about it, you know what I mean? And I know that 50 older YouTubers, after the first two episodes or whatever, made a video, Oh my god, this is my favorite new anime that I, of course, was waiting for. Yeah, I'm pretending that they were already waiting for it. <laughs> that classic thing. Oh no, it's actually good. But the problem, of course, is that after they do the thing, right? And this is honestly... I don't want to be that thing. I don't want to be that guy. But if you're here, guys, hope you subscribe. I'll write slap on this one, right? Because, obviously... I think a lot of other YouTubers they don't actually care about this show, right? Don't care about other whatever, because they will do like that one video when they say, "Oh my God, this is actually amazing anime," pretend they like it, right? And then they won't talk about it again. You know what I mean? They did it for the first episode, basically, right? Yeah. Uh, maybe those more, but most of them don't do that, right? They did it for the first, like, you know, um, after six, seven days, yeah, <laughs> basically, right? And then they don't actually follow up, you know, they don't actually follow up and looking at the show or so on, right? Uh, or they do it afterwards when it finishes or so on, yeah. So no, no, no. So the same thing. Um, you have to be. I don't know. I mean, maybe I'm just still bitter over the whole league thing. But I am. I am. I'm probably saying I'm bitter over the whole anime league thing, right? Links before that. You know, it pisses me off, right? Knowing how so many YouTubers just, you know, watches the leaks and, you know, destroys the and whatever. It's not a video, but yeah, I think that's. It's so appalling. Uh, but anyway, this anime is. I still felt slept on them, so to speak. It's looking really good, right? This Term and Dark here, first episode of Term and Dark, I guess. Uh, very excellent animation, right? The fighting and so on. Um, everything is always with the mouth and the talking, uh, the fingers. It's just really detailed, right? So, this is a good uh, first bit of a Term and Dark. Even though, obviously, right now, you're just kind of like, oh, here's a swamp, or here's some forest, or whatever. Yeah, so it's mostly just like a starting point, right? 
But next episode, we're actually gonna have like an actual fight, of course, obviously. So that's probably gonna look really good when they have the actual like dueling and so on. And I mean, they're obviously gonna fight inside the Colosseum later, so that probably be good. So honestly, this anime might have one of the best fights this season, this year, right? Yeah, I actually sp I expect this anime to have like the best fights coming. Uh, seriously, yeah, it might it looks probably gonna look really good because it probably will increase the quality of course even higher, right? For the actual like end fights in in the Colosseum because that's why basically every anime, right? They also have higher budget for those like you know finishing special moments, you know, when they're fighting in like a term, yeah, the final bit or whatever. So, uh, because my point, I guess, because I mentioned here is that this anime is term and dark looks really good already here, right? You know, I think for most of the animes, term and dark looks way worse in the first like episode of the arc right and then they kind of increase the quality uh, of course so this is probably gonna do the same thing right uh so i have really high hopes here really uh, but then this uh, yeah as, as always right animation really really on point in this in this anime absolutely i really have to say that the only anime honestly compared to is one piece one piece yesterday or today whatever new time series one piece less episode right because they have the yorp thing now so obviously the about the tenth of higher Actually, it was really fantastic. Because the last episode was like uh, Kusan and, and so on drinking alcohol. And that actually looked like really good. But that's what I mean. This anime here, is, that's how that ends every episode. Because that bit, the Kusan drinking, was like really, really well animated for once in One Piece, right? Like really an good animated. We had the water is moving in, the, in the, you know, the, the water is like moving inside his glass and so on. That kind of stuff, right? Uh, same thing here, you know, yeah. So there's going to be more animation. But anyway, I digress. Um, otherwise. Maybe I should be too surprised by Fireboy's betrayal here. But I certainly felt like... I was hoping it was going to be like... Oh no, I understand now that friendship is better or something. Or collaboration or something. But, uh, so, but, but first, obviously, in the rest part, I was like... Yeah, that's right. I got the Fireboy with me. Pokemon, baby. Yeah, I got the Fire guy. You can defeat the Ice guy. He's like, no. He's like, I will kill him. He's like, what? No, no he's, supposed to, he's supposed to help me. He's supposed to be my friend now. So, no. Unfortunately, he has not... Um, Change his bad ways yet, but I think after this he probably will, or the ice guy will. I mean, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm just, I, I, I'm sure that someone will be like the fit means friendships. Someone has to like change their mind, right, uh, about Will uh, of these two bad guys. Because the other two people, right, like the elf guy and so on, he seems to be like a nice person anyway. Yeah, like the the other guy, you know, the top, the, the other top two people seem to use, you know dislike Julius uh, and so on. So they were like whatever. So they probably are already good people. So. He has to convert at least one of these two, uh, Fire and Ice, <laughs> to your his side, I feel. Uh, uh, classic anime main character, right? You have to befriend the bad guys. But but maybe not. Maybe you can't befriend this Fire guy. He's just like uh, super evil. He's like Draco Malfoy permanent. He just cannot uh, be changed. But I don't know. I think he's just like... Right now, he's desperate. Um, but I think one thing the episode brought up, though, that we didn't know before, I mentioned earlier, of course, is that he likes Hermione, right? Yeah. So this is, he's like obviously playing the Draco Malfoy role, and he's like in love with Hermione then, or at least he likes her, or he thought that she liked him at least, so he has some feelings for her, and that's obviously gonna make him hate Will more than because, you know, she likes Will, so yeah. That actually makes a little more depth to it here than in this anime, that he's a thing for, you know, the main character's bestie girlfriend kind of character, right, so he's obviously yelling on that, right, he's nettering, he wants to, he wants a girl, right, so that makes it quite different. Um, uh, happened otherwise. No, it's just kind of like, I like the, I like the turn, I like the um, commentator, yeah. <laughs> one of them is super mean, you know, one of them is mean sense to be like, oh, okay, you're stupid, yeah. And the other guy's like, oh my god, it's a badass, do you even know? Yeah, actually, that was cute too, but obviously we know that she's working for, you know, uh, the government, we call it, yeah. Um, you know, and she, she was pretending to, to be like, because she has to play this role, right, of being saved by Will and that stuff. But she was pretending to be, oh my god, we said by company! <laughs> I love that part, she was like really overplaying it. Oh my god, company! <laughs> yeah. She has to be like that kind of like ginky girl, you know. But it was great because she's talking to the principal, her voice changed, right? She went from like a much deeper, darker, much mature voice. You know, like, yes, I will uh, work on this plan, you know. And then the next thing she's like, okay, okay, let's go! <laughs> yeah, it was like, it was, that, that was great, that was great. You have to change her voice, like, <laughs> that pitched up, like, about ten times, man. That was great. Oh, that's a real voice. The, yeah, the darker voice has to be a real voice, right? But she's pretending to be that, like, oh my god, will kid! Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, that was awesome. But anyway, guys, subscribe to the like button. I'll see you guys for Tower of God later today. And maybe finally make my leave this video if I have time. 
Uh, and next week, I think I'm gonna finish off Isekai Squad. Yeah. Uh, honestly, I haven't watched Isekai Squad yet. It's like five episodes left. I think today I'm gonna watch the four episodes. But I think I probably upload them uh, all together with the last episode on Thursday, I think. Uh, I think there's only one episode left in the uh, But yeah, I just have a great day.